Okay, so this is the video to install a master window switch we picked up from aussiepipes.com.au and uh, this is the part number here and this is the master window switch it replaces a um, 2011 Ford SZ Territory, this is a 12 pin, it's a non-illumination uh, I believe it's 2014 onwards that has the illumination uh, so just take care to look at the part numbers and check your vehicle and uh, we're about to go ahead and install this so this is the uh, existing switch a bit worn out the car's got about 78,000 k's on it um, yours might have more what happens is inside these little uh, winder switches uh, the contacts um, they burn out or they get uh, deposits on them that stop them making good electrical contact and uh, the winders uh, stick or don't work at all when you go up, sometimes when you go down. The simplest way to do this is to uh, take a look at a flathead screwdriver, pop it in the front there, and lever it up a little bit. If you notice on the new one, it's got that little tag that is designed to be pushed in, and uh, that's what you're trying to hit with your flathead screwdriver. The other end, the back end, are just uh, clips. So. I'm going to go ahead and take out the old one and put the new one in. Easy. We've popped that front bit off. We need to put a little bit of pressure on the back here. Just give it a little pop. Those clips will still have a little bit of grip on them. You pull it out. You've got these cables here. And then you put a little clip. Just there, that needs depressing. Okay, so now this is extracted. You can see on here, you've got uh, six and six. Just 12 pins, no illumination pin in there. I don't have an example for the 13 pin with illumination, but uh, just check that what you've bought match the number of pins to what your cable looks like. And go ahead and clip it in. So once the uh, switch is plugged in, you just want to give it a quick test, to make sure that it works. Auto down. Oh, you can see every window responds nicely now. And your final task is to go ahead, slot that piece in, push the back end down first, make sure that's locked in, and then your front end, same again, pop it into place. Job done. Alright, so that concludes the video. Uh, one flathead screwdriver, old switches out, thanks to. Uh, Aussieparts.com.au